and my heart is just totally broken. Oh, this morning, there are hundreds of families desperately searching for answers after Lincoln Memorial Park Cemetery in Carson suddenly closed without explanation. People say the gates have been locked for weeks and there's no word from management. It's like, how does this happen? In fact, the city can't even get a hold of the owners now. Joining us now is Assembly Member Mike Gibson, who represents the area. Thanks so much for being here. Um, you know, first, I, I do want to ask your reaction to this closure because I heard you have a personal connection to the cemetery. Yes, thank you very much. I'm absolutely heartbroken. I have 15 family oh. members laid to rest oh. at Lincoln Memorial Park Cemetery. And so I can certainly sympathize and empathize with those who are suffering right now due to this, this sudden closure of this cemetery um, here in the city of Carson. Oh, so sorry to hear that and so sorry for your loss and what you're going through. Um, the cemetery is also very significant and important to the African-American community, right? Can you explain? It is absolutely, it's just the historical um, facts and history that Lincoln Memorial Park Cemetery holds. Um, it holds also um, James um, Anderson, who is a private, um, passed away back in, 19, um, in the 1900s, um, who, was con who was a Congressional um, Medal Honor, um, who served and lived in the city of Carson, served the United States, um, 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 our country. In addition to that, um, the 22 founders of the Delta Sigma Theta, so one of those founders, are laid to rest. A Sorar Blackwell Weaver is laid to rest there. And the list just goes on and on of those who have been laid to rest because African Americans could not be buried at other cemeteries. Mm -hmm. So there was only a few cemeteries in which African Americans can be buried in in Los Angeles County. One is uh, Lincoln, the other is Woodlawn. Um, cemetery. So you find a number of African Americans from the South Los Angeles community have been laid to rest there. And so their loved ones have been reaching out to my office, to the city of Carson, seeking answers. You talk about grief and the historical value. You know, I, I just, I, I can't imagine. And also, I, isn't there a law already on the books regarding closures of cemeteries? Is, isn't there something that can be done? <laughs> It is. I wrote because of what happened at Woodlawn Cemetery in 2021. I wrote a bill, um, um, AB 651, basically to prohibit um, funerals or cemetery owners from just walking away from their responsibility. They can just walk away and throw their hands up and put locks on the gates, and that's it. So now what this bill will do is hold them accountable, one, and then two, it would also make sure that if something like this happens, then the county will come in and also take care of the grounds to making sure that the grounds are well kept so that family members can visit their, their loved ones um, and making sure until there's a new owner or something new is taking place. And then the county will build the state um, for their out-of-pocket expenses for this. And so we're going to invoke this. I've had a meeting with the uh, Bureau of Cemeteries, um, the funeral um, State Department of Funerals, as well as the governor's office, as well as Consumer Affairs, to get to the bottom of what's going on with um, Lincoln Memorial Park Cemetery. And people just cannot get in contact with the owner. I believe Michael, who is the owner, um, last of record, um, um, is having a health crisis right now. But that doesn't explain why there's locks on the gates and loved ones can't go in there. And so we were trying to get to the bottom of, of this right away. I had to jump the wall yesterday because reports came to my office that there may be some a person that was supposed to be buried that wasn't buried and still could be out there. And so I went over the wall to make sure that wasn't the case and it was not the case. But the grounds are poorly kept because of the lack of uh, attention to those grounds. And I'm very concerned with this. Yeah. Well, Assemblymember Gibson, uh, so sorry again for what you're going through and all of the other ones, uh, all of the other people with loved ones there. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me.